I can't believe it. Because what does that say? Let your faith be bigger than your fear. I am Shanice LaShawn and it's your girl. I am, I'm back on the screen. I'm here, I'm present. A lot has happened since the last video that we kind of talked about my job and everything, like a job update. I don't even know where to start, but this video is gonna be a little personal. Um, we're gonna talk about my 2020 goals. We're gonna look at what I did and didn't get. And really and truthfully, we're just gonna look at a lot of the goals that I, I, I set for myself this year. And I just kind of want to reflect and share this with you all. Um, just to kind of get my mindset back into like grind mode for 2021 because we got a lot going on. COVID might have stopped 2020, but COVID ain't stopping 2021, okay? From here on, we on full throttle, okay? Um, but also, at the end of the video, I have something very big to announce so i want to share that with you all so make sure that you stay tuned to watch the full video at the top of 2020 i created a visual goal list for myself uh, where i divided all of my goals into like six different categories so i literally wrote down all the goals that i wanted to do for myself and see for myself before the year was up and then i took them and i divided them into different categories we'll go over the categories um once i kind of discuss the goals out of each one but in regards to that um of course we're at the end of the year new year's is literally like four days away so what perfect time and what perfect place to actually share this with you all especially at the end of the year because i'm telling y'all 2021 i am full throttle focused and i can't wait to share this big news with y'all because y'all gonna be like what in the world why are you doing this but it's cool so let's just get into the goals so we can talk about that all right so the first category that we're going to talk about is um and i'm probably looking down because i'm looking at the actual goal sheet so um the first category that we are going to talk about is like my personal social goals and i think if i can i'm going to try to put like a picture a blowed up picture of what the actual goal category looked like the goals that i had for myself one goal that i really wanted to achieve out of this group was to be able to attend a textile work stop to be able to attend a textile workshop class. Um, and if you don't know what it is, you can do the research, but that's a whole nother topic for a later date. But that was one thing that I really had on my list for top priority, but COVID stopped that. So hopefully in 2021, I will be able to do that. But however, I was able, out of all of my goals, I was able to attend a nursing network event, um, the Nurse Power Brunch, um, that is usually hosted by the Nurse Power Network. Um, if you do not follow them on social media, please do so. This is their tag. And every year around 4th of July, they host like a huge networking event. Normally it's in uh, New Orleans with everything like the Essence Festival and they go and you network with other like-minded nurses. But because of COVID this year it was virtual. So I still participated and it was actually a great event. So my spiritual category was next. And I'm gonna be real honest. I did not do the greatest in this category at all. Um, even just reading like my daily devotion. I, I started out very strong at the top of 2020, but as the year went on and as life just kind of hit and being busy, and I know that's not an excuse, it just kind of took over and I let real life get in the way of like spiritual life. So I have now made an effort to kind of do it every morning before I go into 2021. I started last week, so I'm trying to keep this, this type of momentum going into 2021. So that way taking it with me, it'll kind of already have like a little bit of a foundation and it shouldn't be that hard for me to start doing it if it's already in my foundation or my routine for 2021. Bear with me, I'm human. So Lord knows my heart. So we working on that Lord, just give me time. Work with me, pray for me, you know the deal. Okay, so next up is wellness, physical, and health all together. So this is like my second biggest category because this is one of the, the goal that I'm getting ready to talk about is one of my favorite goals. One of my favorite goals for 2020 because I literally kicked this goal's butt. So looking at the category, the biggest thing that I am proud about out of this category, I developed a skincare 
routine. When I tell y'all, my skin has never looked this great at all. Like, I, and I'm talking about uh, at all. Like, my skin has never looked this great at all. Um, at the top of the year, I started getting facials. I started going to an esthetician, started listening to her, taking her advice. I eliminated a lot of foods, a lot of products out of my routine, out of my diet, everything. Um, and my skin has never looked so better. I, I still got a long way to go. I still got some dark spots, dark spots and hyperpigmentation that I'm dealing with. But as far as just like constant acne, breakouts and everything like that, I pretty much have them under control and I am so happy that I was able to get this accomplished and I cannot wait to see what my skin's gonna look like for 2021. Um, I even went so, it went into as far as like taking a skincare class to learning more about skincare. Um, my esthetician, she held a class for educational reasons for people who were interested in getting into the skincare field. I am so happy um, just about my skincare and just having a routine and actually being able to feel confident about my skin and just working on that. So that is one of the biggest accomplishments for me in 2020. Um, I can't, can't y'all see him? Like, come on now, get into it. Get it. Mm, come on now, get into it, okay? Okay, so next up, we have the finance category. All right, so looking at this category, this is also a category that I am not very proud about because I feel like I didn't make an impact in this category or this section like I wanted to. Like I kind of just touched the surface of each of these categories, but I didn't really like hit it hard and get it like scratched off my list. Fortunately, I will say uh, I didn't go into any more debt than I already am. So that was a good thing about, you know, 2020, I guess. I didn't go into more debt than what I already am. So um, with COVID, COVID just kind of stopped that and slowed it down for me because I did have intentions on, uh, you know, traveling still for 2020, but then COVID hit, a lot of my assignments or my type of job just kind of went off the market for a little bit. So for about two months, I really didn't have a job. So I had to try to figure out how to get a job. So that is when I settled into the, the nurse manager job and, the pay just wasn't equivalent to traveling, so it really didn't provide me with the opportunity that I needed to like pay off the debt and everything like that. So, unfortunately, my finance goals are, are coming with me to 2021 because everything just kind of went standstill for that when it came to, you know, trying to be a better financial, trying to have a better financial aspect on everything. So, the next goal would be my family and home category. Okay, so the top goal, just looking at this category, the biggest goal, and I don't even have to look at the paper because I know what the biggest goal is out of this category. It is the fact that my mom's health has improved. It's not 100%, but it is definitely a, a lot better than what it was two years ago. We've literally been fighting with just her being sick constantly for the past two years. And for me to look at her now, we've definitely still got a long way to go but she is so much better than what she was two years ago. And honestly and truthfully, I am so grateful for these past six months because I've been able to come home and just be in control and in charge of her health, making sure that she went to her doctor's appointments, making sure that she told the doctors the truth about how she was feeling, making sure that if the doctor, I felt like the doctor wasn't a fit, all right, we find a new doctor. Like I literally had to step in and, and just snatch everything from her. I can't say nothing else about that goal because that was just, that was the biggest the biggest accomplishment for me just to look at her and see that she's not a hundred percent but we are better than what we used to be and <sighs> all right so this is the category that I have been waiting to talk to y'all about um, this is the category that deals with work and just my career um, we just gonna talk about the biggest goal that I am excited about the most but if you all follow me on social media or if you follow um, my business page which is the curvy lifesaver you would know that as of November curvy lifesaver is now a LLC ah! I'm so excited y'all um I think making curvy lifesaver an LLC was the best decision for me because um, I've just been very very detail oriented thinking about what it is that I want to take, how I want to take Curvy Lifesaver. What is the direction? 
how do I want to do it and what do I want to offer based off of this business to other nurses, other healthcare professionals, and just either other entrepreneurs anywhere. So another goal in this category, I wanted to have 100 subscribers before the end of the year was over. Organically, I didn't want to like share for share or follow for follow or whatever you call it. I wanted to build 100 followers organically. And your girl is almost there. I think the last time I checked, I was at like 97, 98. So, I mean, anybody who know anybody that think that they would benefit from my page, go tell them to follow your girl. Subscribe to my page, do what you need to do. Um, but I am literally this close to getting my 100 subbies naturally, organically. So, first off, I wanna tell y'all thank you to my 97 or 98 subscribers that I currently have right now. And I'm thankful for you all because apparently you all watched my videos, saw something that you liked, and you hit the subscribe button. So I thank you all for that. So, all right, okay. I'm so hot. <laughs> I wanna tell y'all something, okay. So, as of January the 25th, that is going to be my last day working as a nurse manager. I have turned my uh, resignation in. Three weeks ago, I turned in my resignation to quit my job as a, a nurse manager. January 5th, 2021 is my last day working at my nurse manager position. And I know somebody looking at me like, what in the world, why are you leaving this job? I'm gonna tell you why, um, but I think I'm gonna tell you why at a later date. Just know I did it for personal reasons and I did it because I wanted to better myself as a nurse and there are still a lot of things that I feel like are left unaccomplished in regards to travel nursing and I feel like there's still more for me to do when it comes to travel nursing. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of the saying just right situation, wrong timing. A lot of times you hear that when you're in a relationship or whatever. <laughs> but. The situation was perfect. I absolutely loved being a manager. I loved what the job had to offer. I absolutely loved it, but the timing was just not right because there's an empire or there's a business that I'm trying to build with Curvy Lifesaver. And right now it's just not the timing because I'm really focused on trying to get Curvy Lifesaver off the ground. So that is my sole purpose. It's, it's literally faith over fear. I'm, I'm seriously invested in what it is that I'm trying to do with this brand and with myself and everything. And I want somebody else to be able to see my page and say, hey, dang, she's just like me. If she can do it, then I know I can do it. And that's literally what it is. So that is that is pretty much it, guys. Um, this video, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I definitely am going to make a video about my 2021 goals probably sometime in January. I still haven't really sat down and done them yet, but I know exactly. I kind of jotted them down a little bit, but to officially write them down on paper and to put it into motion has not done. I have not done that yet. So I can't wait to share that video with you all and just kind of see how 2021 plays out. But I definitely will be making a video about me transitioning to my next location for travel nursing i'm gonna hold on to it this video i hope i shared um you know enough information with you all i hope i motivated somebody and if you did make sure that you hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up comment down below what some of your 2021 goals are if they're similar um to what some of my 2020 goals look like you know comment down below let me know we can connect try to figure out how we can get these goals together um, but yes, I'm so excited to be back, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Uh, y'all gonna see a lot more of me in 2021. So don't, don't, don't get too comfortable not seeing me, boo. So I can't wait to see y'all in 2021. Happy New Year. I hope everybody has a great New Year's. Please stay safe. Wear your mask, social distance, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the New Year, baby. Bye. Oh yeah, shameless plug. Make sure that you shop my merch. Curvy Lifesaver, Thick Thighs Save Lives. But this is the official announcement. I am going back into travel nursing. I quit my job as a nurse manager and I am going back to do travel nursing for 2021. And I have no regrets about it because I know this is what I need to do. I have prayed about it.